and that's it. Let's just test it. Web chat. Do you think it's gonna work? Let's see. Boom. It's working. Hey guys, so today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your chatbot builder AI with the Google Sheets. And if you are not using chatbotbuilder.ai, this is the best chatbot platform. This platform allowed me to showcase my hundreds of products into my chatbot in form of a carousel in just a single block. Yeah, I was amazed too. I just show you a simple automation that you can build with this platform, which is, you know, connecting your chatbot builder with the Google Sheets and show dynamic galleries. So let's jump on the screen. As promised, I'm just gonna build this whole carousel just using a single block so let's see so i have my seat here i have all my listing inside and let's jump on chatbot builder ai and before starting let's connect let's check like we have the seat connected to it so uh, yeah let's see we go to google channels integrations and then google seat connect and i'll connect one of my account here continue and yeah, we have our sheet connected. OpenAI chat GPT integration is already done. Yeah, it's connected by default because it's just a new account. And yeah, let's go into flow. Let's name it Carousel Baby. Just a random name. Okay, so yeah, let's see if we, if we can generate the gallery using just this block. <laughs> Click on add content and then action and then yeah we have our google sheet here we will click it send data we'll say generate dynamic gallery spreadsheet we say auto modding and worksheet we say inventory and now we are going to map our uh, data into this carousel card so let's see let's see if we can move it here now we have the images inside the color match so we are gonna open curly brackets into curly bra uh, two curly brackets then close two curly brackets and this will be the title so we will say title will be in b and now we will add you know the information here so uh yeah let's see if we can here yeah, see so the price of it c i name it price i name it i'll add a comma i'll add mileage i'll add date i'll add make i'll add ease i'll add style i'll add app i'll add condition i'll add so let's see if we can generate the cards from here click on save and that's it you are all done click on publish let's just test it cat publish url web chat and let's open it do you think it's gonna work let's see boom it's working let's see what we have oh wow yeah these are a nice collection of cars a little thing i'm gonna baby image size in big square Let's see publish. Fancy fancy. Boom. Yeah, this this looks nice now. Comment down if you like any of those cars. Yeah, this looks nice. So yeah, this is Hey you see, hey you see I just use a single block of message and you can just show your old products in form of carousel. Let's do one. Do you want to do some automations? Let's see uh, what. Let's see what more we can do here. Let's see. I have this sheet, and uh, let's see, name it uh, like uh, these members handles particularly uh, by models, and we say Ford Ram, Ford Ram Jeep. So I'll just name it Manage, right? And let's say this person handles all four cards. This person handles, uh, let's say, Jeep. This person handles RAM Audi. This person handles BMW Big. I don't know what's big is, but yeah. Cardillac. 
This person handles Gardalak and Sevely. And this person handles Dodge. And now, like, I just add a button here. Call. No, I don't have the number, number, number. Why I don't have the number? Let's just copy the numbers. I think, yeah, from here. And just get rid of this. Delete column. Call. Can I delete it? And now what we want to do is like when someone clicks on the button call stuff, then this will go in going to show another card which will be of, you know, the staff member. So let's see. I have a uh, call. I'll say, I'll say another step here. And yeah, send message. Let's see done. Let's see if it gets a new lamb and it's not getting. I'm gonna get um, one other message then. So let's see if my old things are already done here. Here, I say call stuff. And now, here is the magic. We are gonna save a custom field. Add new stuff. Continue. And now I'm going to shave it as like the uh, in inventory i have uh like as you know as you know like as you know all our staff members handles particular mix and now i'm going to only give information as per the make so i'll say i have the make in e column so i'll just save the e when they click on it okay Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'm just cross checking. I'll mark it. Save. Now we have this block for a different purpose. I'll click on add content action. Again, the Google Seed. Generate dynamic gallery. And automotive. I'll choose the uh, staff. And now here's the magic. We are gonna look up the column. We'll look up the column. What's what's the column? Manage. Manage contains. Stuff. And we hear the image URL. D. Title of the, the title would be the name of the person, so we'll name it column B. Now, here we can add a subtitle, so we're gonna add C. Yeah. And on the button, we'll say call number. And we will add. Let's save it. Okay. Now we'll go back to fancy fancy. Boom. Cold stuff. Okay, okay. I'll choose Mustang. Let's see who is the person. Wow, Robert Allen, sales manager, call now. And if I click on call now, let's see if what if the number arrives. Wow, this is it. Thanks, man. Okay, this is particularly it for now, but you can do uh, a lot of things for this. And if you want another video uh, showing you more tricks and tips, how you can, you know, make your carousels more interesting, 
then just comment down and i'm gonna make another video for you all right bros see you in the next video